Hi, Cancer. Welcome to your reading for October 2024. Um, this is for my beautiful Cancer suns, moon, rising. You could certainly have planets in the sign of Cancer. Um, you may be intuitively guided, which more and more of you are. You're paying attention to your intuition and, um, you know, your intuition is your GPS for this lifetime. So when we learn to listen to our intuition, then, um, I don't know, I think things fall in place a little easier. Um, anyway, you may be in love with a, with a cancer, whether platonically or romantically, same thing. You know, I feel like because I connect to my guides who I feel connect to your guides. And I feel like that's why reading can uh, resonate with so many people. Um, and I feel like a reading is like your story. You know, this is why the readings are longer here because we're literally telling your story. I just thought I saw a bug. Um, so, you know, we have to let it, we got to give it respect, allow it to unfold. Uh, so anyways, what was I going to say? Great time to ask for any type of spiritual confirmation from your team, you know, whether it be just a feeling like, let me feel if this is right for me. Um, a number and name, you know, who knows? I'm not going to give you, I don't want to put any ideas in your head. Um, but, you know, make it realistic at the same time. All right. So one more thing we're doing for, well, two different things we're doing different for August, but similar to September is instead of using the master, um, not the master, what do you call it? The major arcana deck that I was using just to get the bullet points for September, um, I decided to use a Romance of Angels this time. So just for like a bullet point. And the reason why is, let's face it, you know, our readings are about life for sure. But love always seems to be a part of it. So I thought, why not? Some, You know, these these this deck made its way back to me. And um, I feel like I got to put it to use. So... We'll definitely use the Romance Angels for bullet points. We, of course, are going to take Mother Mary's beautiful words of wisdom. Um, we're going to clarify or go deeper with the Gilded Tarot. And then I also have another little tarot out here. Uh, I think it's called Divine Celestial Tarot. That if we feel like we need to even go deeper, we will. Um, for your main spread. And by the way, another thing we're doing is opposites. We did that for September, and I definitely felt intuitively guided to do it that way, um, like opposite signs. But now that I have like a month under my belt, I just feel like I get it because, you know, each sign has an opposite, and that opposite can teach us a lot. You know, even tell us like the areas we may be lacking, you know, um, and yours is Capricorn. So interesting. Capricorns is already done. Um, and I was going to try to do them together. I did them last night and then I just ran out of time. So you know, the first thing on the schedule this morning is your reading. Uh, so anyways, that's the reason why I'm doing. I feel like some of you may have Capricorn in your charts. Or, I don't know, just who knows? You guys tell me, like, you know, if you have the time, watch both and see, like, if they meld together for you. Who knows? All right. Doing them for a reason. And, you know, when I feel intuitively guided to do something, I don't always know the reason until, well, sometimes you're the one who gives me that clarification. All right, Mother Mary. So everything is pre-shuffled, guys. We're going to go ahead and give them a cut. And we're going to officially open this reading. I'm going to bring the lid down a little bit. I have to do a promo. Um, company I work with sent me a lot of stuff. These beautiful candles. Some tarot decks, which I'm not sure about yet. Um, just, you know. 
I need to do a promotion, a promotional video for them. Um, because I definitely feel like there's, and listen, I only buy what I think, okay, what, what would you guys like? All right, anyway. Anyway, Mother Mary, answer. I know there's a few of you who have been with me for quite a while, and I really appreciate that. You know, do I feel like I pick up on people's energy? I do. Or let me put it a different way. I feel like our spirit guides um, will put that feeling within me. You know what I mean? It's like I'm feeling the emotion of what I'm speaking about, like I was you or someone else. All right, action. Action, Cancer. Time for action. Today, I take action related to the priorities that I have previously put off. Today is the day. Today is the day. Um, you know, you could have certainly just been, you know, I can think of a million reasons of why we put something off, right? We could be giving ourselves an excuse. And, um, you know, it's funny because it it just reminds me of like my daughter who has a tendency and she's a water sign, she's Scorpio, has a tendency to put things off until the very last minute when it's like that, that, I don't know, like anxious feeling you get. So, you know, I could definitely see that saying to you, you know, it, sometimes putting things off can make it seem bigger and badder than it actually is so, you know i should have just faced it right from the get-go anyway i'm just picking that up intuitively today i take action related to the priorities that i have previously put off okay if nothing else it's an action energy that tells me that there's going to be something that requires your action and it can be something really good. <laughs> you know what I mean? Maybe something unexpected. It's it's kind of making me also think of like pleasant day, like keeping myself in the present energy. Some of you, I feel like it's about signs and, you know, with a clear mind and opened eyes. Um those signs may be just be very clear. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to get a knock at the door in a minute. So we'll see. All right, let's bring in the romance angels. Cancer. Um, I know quite a few of you are dealing with, or you're in twin, a twin flame relationship, whether you're together, um, you know, or not. I feel like you, you, I feel like a lot of you, though, I already know this, like a lot of you know, you know, who the person is, but... I don't want to make this just a twin flame relationship. That's for sure. I want it to be what it wants to be. All right. Maybe if I stop talking. You deserve love. You deserve love. You're lovable. And that you are. You deserve love. You're lovable. It's interesting. She's shooting her arrow outwardly let's see what she's shooting it towards it's almost like someone's just having that realization like you know what i am lovable express your love interesting maybe someone had asked this person to express their love but they weren't ready to maybe they just had to figure out 
you know, that they do deserve love. Could have came from something that was broken. You know what I mean? And um, she's by the water, and to me that's healing. But yet she's got the sense of power, and it's like she's shooting this arrow, and it's hitting express love. Go ahead, go ahead and make that romantic gesture. It's almost like someone may have asked her previously, and it was like, I know. But I don't really think it had anything to do with the person. I think it had to do with the timing. Almost like someone's realizing like this healing period, it's important that I go through it. But I feel like that's coming to an end. All right. You know, it's interesting because, like, I'm picturing this, this, this girl, right, this woman with this arrow. But yet, I'm also in my mind's eyes, like, I can see someone, like, in their, let's just say, early 20s, uh, maybe late teens, where they were very, um, what's the word I want to say? Like, they went after what they wanted there's no shyness about it. And it's almost like, because I feel like her her era, which, you know, I'm thinking like could hurt, but I'm feeling, but that's her, like, that's her calling. Interesting. And then we have interesting, release your ex. Well, I feel like somebody just did. That's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling someone did. It feels like this woman with the arrow. And I feel like she's given herself time to heal. And again, someone may have already approached her or just, you know, made some type of gesture. But she could have, like, again, shut it down very quickly, easily. The time has come to clear your energy. That's what she's done. That's what she's doing. All right, let's just take one more, even though I feel like they couldn't mirror each other better. Wow, look at this. True love. How interesting. I mean, hmm. It's like releasing this, this ex's energy. You know, you may have already released the X, but maybe it's just the energy is still, you know, that's what you need a time like to heal from that, to clear that energy. And I do feel over here like this person has cleared that energy. And if they haven't, they feel like they're in, like they're getting ready to. And then I feel again, I don't want to keep repeating myself, but again, I feel like this, this inner child part of me, this risk taker. Um, it's like, you know, I use that arrow to leave my particular mark. And I feel like this person, whoever I'm marking, let's say, um, it's almost like they know your calling, like they know your calling card. True love. Here's this little bug flying around. I see it. True love. This is the romance of a lifetime. Okay, wow. So, shooting that arrow out, but with really, um, I feel like high expectations. All right. Let's go ahead and bring the light seers. And by the way, another thing I didn't tell you is I'm using the exact same deck for opposite signs. So everything's the same. Um, trying to remember what they got, but 
Really, I'd rather just concentrate on yours. Okay. Because I kind of feel this is important. You know what I mean? Like someone just having, I feel like I'm going to repeat myself again. And then Mother Mary bringing out action. So, and then this, this, this woman, like there she is taking that action. Someone could have broke up with you, you know, and release your ex like she's the one who's sitting here with the Dear John letter. But, you know, then you have true love here. And I don't feel they're the same person. I just don't. Um, trust your own intuition. But here, I definitely feel like they're different people. All right. Thinking, did I cut them? Can't remember if I cut them. You know, sometimes I just get lost in your reading that I don't even know what my hands are doing. So it wouldn't hurt to cut them again. You know, sometimes I think when, like, hours, interesting, because I do feel like, I do think that Capricorn's first, and I'm only saying this again because you're opposites, and there's things, you know, that you can learn from each other's energy, um, but I believe their first card was the tower in reverse. Why am I saying that? I don't know. I don't know. Something reminded me of that. All right, well. Okay, we have been reading with the Emperor. Mm. The Emperor. And the Emperor, two major arcanas, by the way, is looking back at the Hierophant. You know, I, I, every time I see this image, I think of uh, the Stairway to Heaven, the song. And the Stairway to Heaven. We talk about someone's dream coming true. You know, I like the Emperor being the first card because, sure, it can represent Aries, and it may for certain people, but I feel like what it's talking about is more you and where your energy is at um, because I feel like the Emperor is someone, and I love the Emperor's like looking back at the Hierophant, like my faith, my morals, all that, you know, my truth is important within my life and i feel like there's the emperor's not questioning that right it's like i'm living you know my faith my morals doing the things that feel right to me and i feel like right is the right word you know because i don't even feel like i may begin something but i don't feel like it's the money that um i don't know if chasing is the right word may not be the purpose behind it purpose may be to help in some way you know the emperor's definitely um you know the man for the underdog but the emperor is someone normally we look up to this is someone who has a lot of experience this is definitely someone who um this is where it may be calling your Capricorn part because I feel like even being like methodical, I feel like the Emperor is someone who puts plans in place. You know, I don't know why when I, I think of like, I guess the Romans, I don't know, but like I see like a community with, you know, houses going around the mountain top and there's, you know, first level, second level, and it's like the water. It could even be someone's past life, but it's like I can see even the, how the water system, you know, who was that? Interesting that I'm thinking of that because I feel like maybe I even watched a show about that. Hmm. Like on PBS or something. Anyway.
This is great energy for business ownership. Often feel the emperor is someone who, you know, again, leads the people, but, can, but it can be in different ways. And I do like that the emperor's looking back at the hierophant, looking over at the hierophant, I should say. We have the Nine of Wands. All right, well, let's connect them really to the cards above. So you deserve love, you are lovable, brings out the Emperor. Um, express your love, go ahead and make that romantic gesture, brings out the Hierophant. You know, I feel like a question I could just ask myself because the Nine of Wands is next, so I really am questioning, you know, I'm looking back, and, you know, she's also looking over at the Hierophant, so it's interesting they're both looking at the Hierophant, so I feel like you're the Emperor here, and I feel like you're also in this Nine of Wands, and I feel like the reflection, you know, and I feel like the X may be part of that, is really, you know, am I building my life up? In my living life, according to my standards, my terms, you know, what I mean, doesn't mean you can't be flexible. But, you know, this is someone who when because, you know, it, it is it, it is bold to look back, but I think it's necessary. It's interesting. We have five here, which does talk about change. Nine is like reflection, but final reflection coming under the X. Release the X. So maybe if I'm being really honest with myself, I can, you know, look at this X and see that chances are they weren't, you know, hmm, what's the word I want to say? They weren't enhancing my life. But I also got to know my part in it, right? The Nine of Wands is really you know, like looking at oneself without judgment, you know, looking at a situation, um, understanding it. Like I can just think back at some of my early relationships. My energy was low. You know what I mean? Like, like I wasn't living this right, righteous life at that time. You know what I mean? Like my energy was low. I was definitely tempted to lower vibrational energy, you know, and maybe a lot of teens are, I don't know. Um, that could be a study, but anyway, the only reason I say that is because, you know, I feel like sometimes we can give someone a lot of our time and a lot of our energy, but for whatever the reason, they're not, you know, maybe they're not expressing their love. You know, maybe there's more problems than there is, you know, like if I was doing pros and cons, there's, you know, triple the cons versus a few pros. Did I, were the red flags and did I see them? And if I didn't, what made me, yeah, I probably did. But why did I ignore them? And then again, no judgment. It's just to know yourself. Why? Because I feel like, number one, with the Emperor looking at Hierophant, this energy just feels like it's lifted. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like we're starting with, you know, good energy. You know, it, it reminds me of a comment someone wrote. I can't even remember what the comment was about, but I wrote that I thought I was agreeing with them, that I agreed that it's important to know not just your light side, but also your shadow, right? Because that's who you are. That's who we are. And, you know, there may be times when that energy is needed. But also, you know, fear, that's a human emotion. All right, but anyway, so this reflection seems to do you quite well. 
Because let's not forget, it's like when, and listen, again, it's not saying release the ex. Well, it does say release your ex. But under it says the time has come to clear your energy. Mother Mary, action. We have, interesting, the Queen of Swords under true love. Um, interesting because like I'm looking at this queen and it can oh my light just went out oh my light just came back on hmm. mm -hmm -hmm. Um, kind of threw me for a loop for a second I don't know why it happens all the time um, but anyway Maybe it's just confirmation. But anyway, when I when I look at this queen, so it can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, of course. Um, what, what I'm really seeing is this queen is looking, you know, like out into her future. Her sword is down. She's not in defensive energy. I feel like she's just thinking or even reminiscing. You know what I mean? But... Again, she's, she's not in any type of defensive mode. And maybe she herself is like dreaming, thinking about this true love. Maybe she herself is now thinking of whether to use that bow. Because her back is to the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Wands is looking over to Hiram. And so I feel like... This is after the fact, after the reflection, after the clear, the clearing of the ex's energy. And what is next? You know, like, what is next? You know, the only thing I worry about when I do Twin Flame readings is that people will start looking for a twin flame, thinking that, you know, it's a life of romance, and it's not, you know. And I'm not going to say that for all, because some have had that, you know. Listen, that's probably what their soul wanted in this lifetime. But I don't feel like that's the majority. And I guess I'm saying that because I feel like soulmate love also, you know, is mirroring energy. It's like we see each other's soul. We feel we have this this comfort level with this energy. You know, maybe we can just be who we are. Maybe I'm just preparing you for anything, anything that may lie ahead. Kind of interesting because even though the Queen of Swords has her back to the Emperor, um, the Emperor is looking over. We have the Four of Pentacles. You know, it's just making me feel good about the Emperor. Again, whether this is someone else or this is you, there is, you know, I, I like the Four of Pentacles below him. I feel like this is talking about stability. Not just stability, though, I have to say, because I feel like if these two end up connecting, I could see like, like long, deep conversations. You know, I could see this unfolding in a like, I don't know what the word is. I want to say like in a romantic way, but but kind of not at the same time. But I feel like somebody here already feels this. And maybe someone else is not quite aware yet. Interesting.
Almost feels like an admirer, an admirer from afar, but like from how far? We have interesting the Ace of Pentacles. So the Ace of Pentacles, you know, well, probably is speaking to action from Mother Mary, coming under the Hierophant. So, you know, if nothing else, this, you know, it does talk about change. It's a five. But then the Ace of Pentacles gives us the way. You know, the Ace of Pentacles, you know, sometimes I feel like it shows up in the nick of time. But sometimes it shows up when I'm ready. You know, when it's, when it's, when it's time. Ace of Pentacles talks about something coming into your physical world. You know, this is tangible. Interesting. We have, okay, well, justice. So, Libra's major arcana. We do have the Queen of Swords, so that could relate back. But, then again, it doesn't have to. To me, justice is... It's about balance. And I have a feeling this ex and their energy has kept someone like off balance. You know what I mean? I feel like, um, and I feel like, you know, whatever justice usually means cutting of, of ties, some type of ties. And this may talk about the energy. But what that brings is balance. It's almost as long as I let this excess energy to hang around, the longer I stay, like in this unbalanced state. You know, justice is really about making you whole again, though. What's fair and just in your world? And then look at this, the Nine of Swords. Interesting. Nine of Swords. So, you know, I don't feel like this is coming from the Queen. I just don't feel her in this type of energy. This is a lot of worry. It is mirroring true love. This is kind of when I've retreated from the world. You know, I'm looking at the world at, at like all that can go wrong. And probably because something has gone wrong. The meaning of this card is unnecessary worry, though. That's the meaning of it. You know, I feel like for some of you, you feel like this dark cloud's been following you. And it may literally take you standing up and just like reclaiming. You know what I mean? Reclaiming the light. True love, it's mirroring. Interesting. Some of you could still have this connection to this ex. And... I don't know. Because I just get this feeling that this X is kind of weighing you down. It's keeping you unbalanced. It's got you in, you know, the Nine of Swords. It's a state of, you know, can be anxiety, depression. But it says it doesn't have to be that way, though. You know, and again, some of you could have had these ties that were cut. And maybe you didn't really even ask for that. And that's taking you some time to overcome. But at the same time, I feel like if I look at this in a different way, what it's saying is what I'm going through is really temporary. 
though it may feel different, but what I'm going through is temporary. And this is about really what is next? What is next? Not what was, what didn't work, what went wrong. Yeah, it's important to understand it, but not, not to put it on your shoulders at the same time. And it's interesting, again, how this dark cloud feels like it's been following you around. Well, maybe that's the X's energy. And when I clear that, that's me standing up in this nine of swords and like just reclaiming. Reclaiming my life. Mm. Five of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. Interesting. Um, because it's definitely telling me now that chances are something happened outside of your control. That you're the one who's going through, you know, this worry, this anxiousness, the wondering, all that. Again, the Five of Pentacles is a reminder that that is temporary energy. You know, if you look, Nine of Cups underneath that, it's almost like two different ways of looking being single. And one is celebrating the freedom within it in the Nine of Cups. But in the Five of Pentacles, um, you know, if you just look at this image, like this person, they're down. Just like the Nine of Swords, they're down, right? For some reason, they're telling themselves that this is it. It's over, you know, and maybe it's hard to accept that. But the truth is, it's, this may, something may be over, but this is the, the, just the beginning of the next for you. Because there is this big key right here. There's no way she can miss it. Five is always about change, right? So the change is, what am I focusing on? And am I taking action? Right? Do I notice that this key is right here that actually does unlock this new door? And you know what I love about what follows that is I feel like that's a period of time where, first of all, I feel like it's where you realize I'm not going to allow someone to change who I am. And that may be why the Hierophant is here and you reflecting upon that. Like, I'm not, I can't keep changing who I am to meet another's, I don't know, I don't want to say demand, but like, like if you want to be with me, you got to be like this, you got to be like that. But I'm like, but I'm not. I'm like this, and I'm like that. Well, we can change that about you. For some reason, I give in. I allow. Versus what I feel like a true love would never say to you. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's go deeper here. You know, I feel like financially, this is a very good month for you. Um, and I feel like opportunities are going to show. Um, but I, but it is because of your action. You know, I feel like when the sword, she's not just thinking about love, but her life and what you can do with it. You know, especially if I'm making these changes, what can I do with it? And I feel like the emperor marrying that energy well, I give you all kinds of ideas. It's interesting that she's at the beach. Um, 
but I don't feel like she's originally from that area, wherever that area is. I feel like she is, either she relocated to that area after the fact, or it's like she's vacationing there. Let's forget, not so long forget this Queen of Swords, she's looking out into the world. And I do feel like this is you. Um, and she's thinking about all that can be. She again is in a like nostalgia, um believing in herself. And she doesn't know this Ace of Pentacles is on its way. She may be reflecting upon, like, what's going on in her life right now. What I'm happy with, what I'm not happy with. All right. Mm. All right, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Happy Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have the Emperor, we have the Sun, another major arcana. This is the ruler of Leo. This is the Illuminator. I feel like anytime the Sun shows up in a reading, it's good things. It's good energy, like always revealed. We have the Eight of Wands over the Nine of Wands. You know, and to me, the Eight of Wands speaks about the energy I put out into the universe. Like, what I think about, I bring about. And because it's coming over the Nine of Wands, I feel like this is where I really am clearing energy. And I'm letting go. And, you know, I just put a post out. Um, for the moon coming up. And it's interesting because... In that post, it talks about, like, the releasing of excess energy. So, this just may be the time. But anyways, this is also, you know, I feel like when I'm in a positive mindset, then when I think about, I bring about, well, I feel like I'm bringing good things about. This can also talk about fast-moving energy. So, the faster I clear that energy, the faster... You know, these these new opportunities that, by the way, are in the light come about. Then we have, interesting, the King of Swords right over the Queen of Swords. And then, well, hello, lovers. Hello, lovers. Card of Gemini. Um, the meaning of it is a head over heart decision. You can definitely tell that it's full of chemistry. You can feel that the feminine is feeling the energy before the masculine, like, even arrives. But it's like, I can feel that energy. You know, especially if this is relating back, which it is, to true love, then, of course, you're going to feel that energy. And it may feel different than any energy you felt before. Kind of like the Queen and the King of, of Swords coming out together with true love connected to it. Um... What was I going to say? I don't know.
Hello to your cups. Hello soulmates. Hello true love. Right over the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. The sun right above it. The lovers on the other side of it. And then the Eight of Pentacles. I'm sorry, the Six of Pentacles. Interesting because on the bottom of the deck is that Five of Pentacles. And I was told that it's temporary. It's temporary. And then here is the Six. You know, and what takes me from the five to the six, justice, the cutting of those energetic ties. That's what rebalances me. Six of Pentacles um, is really compassionate and empathetic type of energy. Um, and Listen, you know, with release the X, mirroring it, it could certainly be like, because it's coming over justice and you reflecting over it, it could certainly be the energy of, you know, where if I'm a giver, that's all I did was give. And I didn't receive and I deserve to receive. You know, I feel like the one thing with soulmates is there's nothing they want you to change about yourself. You know, unless you feel like you need to change it. And I feel like it goes both ways. But I don't feel like that's what I had. That's what you have to come in. And I feel like I can feel that. So I might need to take action here. Right? Like, not focus on what I've lost. Pick up that key. Unlock that door. And see where it takes me. We have the Page of Cups over the Nine of Swords. Well, that makes sense. Let me grab a drink real quick. You know, that makes sense because Page of Cups is all about your inner child. Um, you know, that's where we normally get broken. And it may be your inner child that got injured. But the Page of Cups is really learning how to love oneself again. You know, and and also, I feel like how to bring that playful nature back out, you know, who I naturally am. Like I felt in the very beginning where this girl grabs, um, grabs this bow and she's like, but that's who I am. This is my weapon of choice. Interesting. Let's go right below. You know, maybe these queen, this queen and king, they're having these long conversations, and these conversations are helping to heal that inner part of myself and probably on both sides well there we go we have the four swords that popped out next and that is healing interesting under the lovers so you definitely help heal each other and maybe you heal those those pieces that I don't dare allow anybody else around.
you know, I feel like now we know why Mother Mary sent out action because this is action oriented. Like it all begins when I begin. I can I can think of people who I once called my true love that I don't give a second thought about now. Why? Because I know a higher type of love now. So why would I go back? We have the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. I like this, um, you know, I like this whole line because, again, it starts with expressing your love, making that romantic gesture. It brings out the Hierophant, which is your truth, your morals, your faith, your hope, keeping it alive. And then the sun's over that. So it's like that part of you is just who you are right now. But there should be no excuses because I feel like it's raising your vibration. And then it moves you into the Ace of Pentacles where it's saying something is coming coming into your physical world. It's tangible and it brings out the Two of Cups, the Soulmates. And then the Soulmates, the Ace of Pentacles, goes into the Ten of Pentacles. Wow. That's a house of abundance. We have the two of wands. So I feel like this is you saying yes to what's ever next. This is you, the you know, willing to step upon this new path. Mm, the star, your hopes, your dreams, your wishes, just when you thought they were over. Just when you thought it was over, this ace shows up. This ace carries this two of cups. This two of cups has to tie back and the lovers tie back to true love. Just when I thought it was over. I love that the stars also mirroring the four swords, this healing. You know, and then what lies upon this new path? The star is the very first energy. You know, it's a wish come true. We have the High Priestess. It's like she's saying, and I knew it all along. I knew it all along. And then the Six of Wands. Wow, that's the energy of being victorious. So whatever you're shooting for in this energy, it really is being victorious. You know, this is can be, this can be where you're leading people. People are coming to you because what it is that, you know, you possess, you have, your experiences. For some of you, that can relate back to your money. But I feel like it's talking about your life in general. Like where maybe I haven't felt quite that joyous, you know, that happy. I feel like things are turning around. They are turning around but I have to allow them to turn around also. I also got to know myself. Come back to that, that empathetic and caring person that you are, but now you have the wisdom to know the difference you know what I mean? Because there are different levels of love. And that's kind of what I'm feeling here. You know, whoever, wherever this is leading you, it's leading you to success. It's definitely leading to change and clearing, but also balance. And the sun, you know, 
the sun shows up. That means I'll be out every day for you. Every day will feel feel like a brand new day. It's a good thing. And I feel like this illumination, it's not just over love, but also your money. So epiphanies, ideas, and following them can lead you to true success. You know, I feel like it's allowing dreams to come true. And it's interesting that the Nine of Cups is right underneath that, right? That inner fulfillment, but also fulfillment of wishes. So maybe once I have that inner fulfillment, then everything starts to open up. But let's read action for Mother Mary. Action. First card. Mother Mary sends you this gentle reminder that sometimes you must take human action in order for your prayers to be answered. Such is, a, such is the case with your current situation. Whether you have been disregarded or progressed, procrastinating, working on a priority. Mother Mary is compassionate and understands that you've got multiple, multiple responsibilities demanding your time and attention. Even so, this is a case where things will stay at a standstill until you take steps in your desired direction to clarify which action steps to take sit quietly and interview your heart with these questions what is most important to me how much time do i do i devote to these priorities daily what can i do right now to support them notice the thoughts and feelings that arise because these are part of the answers to your prayers then ask Mother Mary and the angels to boost your motivation and confidence to take these actions. Amen. Amen, Mother Mary. And that's what it feels like it all begins with. And I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to let it be. I feel like this is your story this month, and, you know, I feel like, of course, just the beginning, but I guess it depends where you're at in the reading also. Anyways, I thank you guys. I love you guys. Um, you know, I don't want to go too deeply, like, how you and Capricorn relate, um, but if you have time, you, know, you might want to read it or, or watch it because... Um, you might learn something from it. Um, there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. That's all I can say. Uh, but anyways, I thank you guys so much for all the ways you support the channel. Truly, I do. Um, I'm very, very grateful for each and every one of you. Thank you. I love you. I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.